Are you looking to get in army shape? Do you want a workout that is twice as effective with half the time that is strictly made for burning body fat, getting you stronger? It's not only gonna test you mentally, but physically as well. Welcome back everybody to Army Boot Camp Workouts. I'm Rob Gibson and I'm coming to you with one of my favorite workouts called the 9 mil challenge. It is quick, it is effective, and boy does it kick your ass. So let's get into this. And why this workout's one of my favorites? One is because it's so short, right? It's so short and effective. You can plug it in anywhere. You can plug it in after you've done a good uh, bodybuilding workout at the gym. You want to get some fat burning benefits at the end of your workout. You can plug this into PT if you have an extra 10 minutes, right? And not only that, but this workout gets easier and easier, right? So your first set, your first round is the hardest round. And then your second and third round get easier and easier. This gives you a good mindset, right? And it gets people you're working out with with a good mindset that the end is near. So they are capable of working their hardest to the very end. Well, you're going to be doing some exercises that are really going to tax your muscles and it's going to get your heart rate up and it's going to burn some nice cardio right get some good cardio in for you so it's a highly effective workout our first exercise in the advanced workout is the burpee we're then going to move to lunges then to push-ups and then to jumping jacks each of these exercises will be performed at 60 seconds each. I know it doesn't sound like much, but when you do something for 60 seconds, it is taxing on the muscles. Once you finish your 60 second round, you're going to move to the 45 second round, meaning you're going to do burpees, lunges, push-ups, and jumping jacks for 45 seconds each. Your last round which will be the same exercises, but you're gonna only do them for 30 seconds a piece, meaning your first round 60 seconds each, your second round is 45 seconds each, and then your last round is 30 seconds each, totaling nine minutes total. And for all you beginners out there, we have a beginner workout for you after we show the advanced workout, so make sure you stay tuned and watch how to perform each of these. Okay, equipment that you'll need. You're gonna need yourself and a timer. Those are crucial, you must have those, right? Uh, now for you beginners, you might need something on incline, meaning a chair, a small hill, a park bench, whatever it may be. Let's get into the workout. These workouts are amazing. I love this workout because you can plug this workout in after a good like strength workout at the gym, right? And you wanna get some extra cardio benefits, fat burning benefits. This workout is perfect for if you have an extra 10 minutes at PT and you got nothing left to do, right? Throw one of these in, they only take nine minutes. As we all know, we're doing each exercise for 60 seconds. Here's my favorite exercise in the whole world and I know it's yours too, the burpee. Okay, you can get two sandbags or maybe even two plates or um, whatever it may be. This will help you get a lot of depth into your push ups, allowing you to stretch your chest out maximally, right? And not only that, but get full lockout with your triceps and your chest as well. Uh, you can also do them on the ground if you don't have sandbags, it doesn't matter. Uh, just switch it up. Don't always do the same thing, but again, if you don't have the equipment, you know, doing it on the floor is just as effective, so don't sweat it. Remember, it's 60 seconds. Once your clock goes off, you're gonna switch up to exercise, right? So I'm gonna make this a little more challenging for myself. You don't have to do this, but pick up the sandbag, give yourself a little weight. We're gonna go 60 seconds with weighted lunges. Again, if you don't have the sandbags, you don't have the weight, just do body weight lunges and it can be just as effective because you can actually do your reps a little faster meaning you can get more reps in right but the the main point when we're doing our lunges is we want to make sure that front knee right is staying behind our toes we don't want them to go over our toes 
we want to keep a nice soft surface under us if we can and we do not want to slam our back knee down too hard on the ground I like to bring it down slow and controlled and just tap my knee on the ground so I get full range of motion full rep range when I'm doing my lunges but again um, if you're going to do that make sure you're going down real controlled and you're tapping a light soft surface all right so now the lunges are finished we're going to get into push-ups and doing 60 seconds of push-ups is always a doozy uh, you want to make sure you're getting good reps nice controlled and and really your focus is on constant movement just moving 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 right and you will get tired um, so if you do get tired, try to rest in the plank position, right? See, I'm kind of cheating a little bit there. I put my butt up in there a little bit. Try not to do that. You want to keep a nice, solid plank position so you can at least challenge your core. The point of this workout is to just keep our body under stress for nine minutes straight, right? And we want to do exercises that are going to make us more athletic, better combat athletes better at our PT test better in life in general so you know do as many reps as you can and just make sure you're getting that work in and the last exercise as we saw on the um, nine mid challenge nine mil challenge workout is the jumping jack so again this is kind of allowing us to shake off all those glycolytic muscles allow our muscles to recoup a little bit um, uh, glycogen wise creatine phosphate wise um, for our next set our 45 second set right so shake out all those muscles while keeping our heart rate up keeping that body in motion um, this is just an all-around great recipe for fat burning right fat burning and mental challenge so that's what these boot camps work boot camp workouts were made for so continue 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 don't stop until you hear that timer go and what we're gonna do now is get into the second set getting into the second set as we know we're just repeating the same exercises as the first round but this time we're doing 45 seconds I uh, fast forward this part because I'm sure you don't feel like watching me work out all day and I'm sure you get the point but make sure after we're done with our 45 second round we're going into our 30 second round and once you finish your 30 second round you are finished the workout it only takes nine minutes and like always we never forget about the beginners here's your beginner workout your workout is exactly the same as the advanced workout except for you're going to be doing easier exercises on a beginner level now as for any beginner workout you don't have to do these exact exercises if you think you are capable of not using a chair maybe just using a, a, a few sandbags as an incline or if you don't think you need an incline at all go ahead I just highly recommend this because I know as a personal trainer not only that but uh, having a degree in exercise sports science Putting a load on too soon can get you injured, so I do recommend yeah, you starting at this point. If you are starting at ground zero, this is where you want to start. You want to start with the up downs on an inclined surface. This will uh, one mentally not screw you over. A lot of people who are just starting out a workout, they mentally screw themselves because they do too much too soon. Your main point as a beginner is to just make sure you show up to the workout you perform the workout and you do it on a consistent basis and then you gradually increase the intensity meaning uh, the exercises get harder right you do more sets you do more reps this will all come with time and this is up to you right so right now we did the incline up down now we're just going down to the body weight deadlift right so this is great for one getting your um, legs um, to 
build strength, to build endurance, right? But not only that, but form. We wanna practice form because you need to learn how to deadlift. So the more times you do this with weight or without weight, it doesn't matter. You're practicing form, right? So keep your chest up. Notice how you can always see the emblem on my chest, on my shirt the whole time because I'm keeping my chest up. I'm bending at the knees. I'm sitting my butt back, right? And I'm keeping my back flat. So practice those tips right there so you can have good form. As soon as we finish with the body weight deadlift, we're gonna go to the knee push up. And listen, don't let this fool you. These are not these are not easy either, especially I, I know I was doing a bunch of workouts this day when I was filming. Uh, I know I was feeling the, these these push-ups myself uh, on the knees, right? So as a beginner, this is a great uh, place to start. Start with knee push-ups. Keep your body straight. Keep your body in one line, right? So you see how my knees, my hips, and my shoulders are all in one line. I'm not sticking my butt out. I'm not sagging my stomach down, right? So everything is nice and straight. I'm working on reps locking out the triceps, locking out my chest, my pectoral muscles at the top. This is all good form and great exercise. You are, you're still burning glycogen, you're getting a great workout. So just because you're doing easier exercises compared to an advanced athlete does not mean it is just as challenging for you as their workout is for them, right? Meaning you're getting the exact same benefits you're getting the same benefits, so don't sweat the intensity of the exercises or the advancement of the exercises. Just focus on the benefits you're getting from the whole workout, right? So to end off this round, right, this 60 second round, we're gonna finish off with our jumping jacks, our body weight cardio. We wanna keep our heart rate up and we wanna just shake out all those glycolytic muscles, right? All the chest muscles, tricep muscles, the leg muscles we just used in the prior exercises. We're gonna use body weight cardio to shake those muscles out and keep our heart rate up so we are continuously burning fat. We are continuously in a cardio zone so we are getting heart benefits and glycolytic benefits at the same time. And once you're done your 60 second round, you've done all your exercises for 60 seconds, you will move on to your 45 second round. You will complete all four exercises again, only this time for 45 seconds. Once you have completed the 45 second round, you will then do the 30 second round and then you are finished. If you enjoy these workouts, I highly recommend you get the 60 day Army Boot Camp Workout Fitness Plan. It's a step-by-step -step instruction on getting you off the couch to the advanced level.